Yo, what's good? You're checking out Five Sports Talk, man. Talking a little Bulls basketball. If you didn't know, I'm a big Bulls fan, hometown team. Love the team, man. But I didn't love this season that they just had where they got beaten the first round of the NBA playoffs by the crap 76ers team who are absolutely garbage. And uh, 76ers fans, if you're watching this, I respect the hell out of you guys, but I'm sorry your team was crashed, and the only reason you guys beat the Bulls was because we didn't have our MVP. And that leads me to my next topic, the Bulls offseason plan. What should the Bulls do this offseason? Because we all know Derrick Rose tore his ACL. He's expected to be out for 8 to 12 months, which puts his debut for next season around January, which means the Bulls have to hold down the fort for about two months till Rose returns. So here are five things the Bulls need to do this offseason in order to prepare for next season. Number one, get a temporary point guard. A veteran point guard who can hold down the fort until Rose comes back is crucial because I hate CJ Watson. He is not the answer at starting point guard. I'm sure Tom Thibodeau, the coach of the Bulls, agrees with me on this after what Watson did in the playoffs. There's three point guards I really like that I want the Bulls to pursue. Andre Miller, Steve Nash, and Kirk Kinder. Now obviously Steve Nash is a sexy pick because he's a two-time MVP and he's the best point guard out of those three, but he's going to be expensive. I don't know if the Bulls can afford him. And more than that, I don't know if Steve Nash is even willing to come to the Bulls and just be a backup uh, when Derrick Rose comes back. So basically be a starter for two months and and then I'm back up when Derrick Rose comes back. I think the perfect option is Kirk Heinrich. He knows the Bulls. He played for them for so many years. Uh, he's a free agent this year, so it's not like the Bulls have to trade anyone for him. Uh, I just think he's a solid point guard, and he would be a perfect fit for them. Number two, trade up in the draft. Uh, now, you don't need to go all the way to the top 10, but at least in the upper 20s or maybe lower teens. The Bulls pick 29th. You probably won't find that good value. Basically, I just want the Bulls to find a Todd Gibson type player. Todd Gibson was drafted 26th, which is pretty low in the first round. Which is pretty yeah, low in the first round. So if the Bulls can find somebody like that, that would be great. Trade up in the draft, Chicago. Number three. Do not, I repeat, do not pick up C.J. Watson and Ronnie Brewer's options this year. Ronnie Brewer is absolute trash in terms of his offensive abilities. The dude cannot shoot. His form is horrendous. And C.J. Watson, uh, I discussed him earlier. I don't want to go into a rant about how much uh, he's not the answer at starting point guard until Derrick Rose comes back. So don't pick up their options. That's that. Leave it at that. Create some cap space. Sign the players that I talked about and then draft as Number four. This actually goes hand in hand with number three because if the Bulls don't pick up the option on Ronnie Brewer, then they can develop Jimmy Butler, which is what they need to do. Uh, Jimmy Butler was the Bulls' first round pick from last year. He had some flashes of uh, defensive capabilities. He can hit a jumper here or two, but the bottom line is he didn't get enough playing time. Put the dude in summer league basketball, let him get some experience. Uh, prepare him for a rotation role next year. I think he could be Luol Deng's backup. Essentially take Ronnie Brewer's spot in the rotation. He has some potential. It's time to develop that potential. And last but certainly not least, number five, sign a veteran score with the mid-level exceptions. The Bulls are going to have about five million uh, to play with with the mid-level exceptions. They should go after a capable score like a Ray Allen or a Rudy Fernandez or probably a Courtney Lee. These guys would be perfect playing under mid-level exception. They provide scoring, which the Bulls need until Rose comes back. And they might even be better when Rose comes back playing off of Derrick Rose. So signing a score is crucial for the Bulls. I think um, they need some offense because they're not getting it from Noah. Dane's going to be probably out for the first two months with the surgery on his wrist as well. And Carlos Boozer is not the answer. I'm sorry, you can't depend on Carlos Boozer. So sign a veteran score with the MLE. What do you guys think? What should the Bulls do this offseason? Uh, leave a comment below, subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Peace.